Hey guys, um, I got here a gas valve. This is for a, a Burnham, Burnham boiler. Um, that's the model number there. Yeah. I'm going to be replacing this old um, boiler gas valve. What happened is I'm not getting a, the, the second flame. So it usually give you, when you turn the thermostat on, it gives you a first flame. And then boom, it gives you a bigger flame. That flame is not coming on. So what happened is I kind of cleaned this out twice and it's still, it's um the boiler is um. It's not blowing enough steam steam heat so um i figure it was the gas valve so i decided to replace it i got a brand new one here see this is the same one actually it's a generic it's not an original boil um burnham but it's a generic brand but it works it's pretty good yeah so i'm gonna be replacing this one here today so all you gotta do here right now is um locate the gas pipe disconnect directly to the valve locate it and it has a T here with a dirt this is for the dirt and here you come up here and it has a union you just loose here unscrew this here take it out and then you turn this whole this pipe here turn it and um once this this part comes out then you take your time unscrew this here this is the gas close to the burner and then you have the, the thermocouple this here and it's just this there's just two one two those two you take out and then you have two wires in the back you have a red and you have a white so unplug it and once this pipe here um comes out then you turn this slowly with a wrench um, and you just turn it slowly take your time try to hold this pipe at the same time with, with one wrench and turn this one here so you don't want to you know twist it and damage this pipe here okay um, once again um, I'm gonna replace um, a boiler Burnham um, gas boiler valve okay all right so <coughs> once again um turn safety turn the switch off no power and also turn your gas valve and that leads to the boiler shut it off so that's it i'm gonna be open up this boiler all right so we um i got this part here loose this is where the union is this here so what you can do is you just get a wrench small oh you have a wrench one of these baby baby and just turn it there you go it turns yeah and that's it. once you turn it and you can turn it by hand here yeah, I'm gonna have to put the phone. So once you turn this part out here, you take it out. That's here. So it's already twisted, so I'm gonna turn it. And then I'll move on to this gas. I'm gonna take this off, take that off there, and the two wires, and then I'm gonna take this, this valve off and then put in it. Make sure you put some um of the um, the pipe teflon um the dope the pipe dope put some here put some back in put the other one on put a new valve just screw it back on there on here and you're good to go see right here this comes out this goes out from here and that's it very simple fix once you put this on you don't have to really do and make any adjustment it's already set it's already come default setting so you don't have to tamper with this here do not tamper with it if you don't know what you're doing please contact a professional um plumbing or elect uh, certified electrician who could um who um who is um you know does boiler and electrician so 
but it's a simple fix just unscrew and connect everything take pictures i recommend take picture that's what i do i take pictures of everything how, how it is and then um i start my project all right okay we got this here we got this part here out so this was in there so you unscrew it you just unscrew it all. looks like a t so I'll take this out yeah rest that there just put it down all right so and then now this here just put your your wrench right here if you have a big wrench i have a big wrench here this one is huge I'm gonna start to have this here. So just put it here in the corner here. And this here. Yeah. Like that. And you just turn it. You turn it out, twist it out there. I kinda loosen it so it's easy for me to hold the phone and you know, turn it. You keep turning it. Easy. They just take your time and you know, twist it out. You don't wanna injure yourself. Slowly. Right. Yeah. Okay, here you go. So this is it here. This is the original um the ass valve, so there's the new one there. We got this the old one, and that's the new one. That's the new one here. That's the new one. That's the old one. So, so this one gonna go in. Yeah. This way here. This is gonna go like this. It has a filter inside there. A mesh filter. So this one I'm gonna go in here. So you just turn it in, put some dope there. Throw dope. Plumbing, part of your plumbing dopes. Uh, don't put too much, yeah, just put a little and some other side of it, put it in there. Yeah, this wire here, this one goes in there. And this slip on here, this thermocouple goes on top here. One thermocouple goes on top here. And the other one goes here, where that brass nip is. So that's it. Connect your two wire, white, white and red. And you're good to go. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got a new one in there. Yeah, I just screwed in there. You um, know, it's gonna have to go in there. This, this thermocouple goes here. So, this red goes on the top here, and the white goes. The The white goes in the bottom. It doesn't matter really because it doesn't matter if you switch anyone, it doesn't matter. Just, you know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some dope on this here. Here you go, I got my pipe thread compound. You could get pipe dope. So this is really good to you, it just um, seals all the leakage, you know. Yeah, once again you don't wanna put too much you don't wanna put too much there, you know, in the back. Because when you once you twist it, once you turn it in, the <coughs> once you turn it, it's um built up in the back there, so you don't want it to get too much. In. They will put enough so you could doesn't leak. Always do a test after all. So, oh, this is gonna go back in there. This here, this is the key. gonna go back inside and put this back in here. I'm just gonna connect back here the union right here the union there and this here comes to goes in there clean the head here put some um pipe compound in there she's kind of dirty so okay all right guys so 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe and please comment. Thank you. All right, guys. So um, it's hooked up. Everything um, hooked up, safe here, and reconnected. That's the new. Um, that's the new gas valve. All right. So it took me a little time because I'm, um, I'm kind of slow, but surely that's the old one there. So I did a pilot um, light so as you can see there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the flame but it's burning there on the bottom I think that I think I need to take the camera off, the, um, the light off, so. Okay, so I took the the camera light off. Um, so, I have a flashlight, so all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take it, put it in the bottom there, so you can see the flame. There you go, you see the pilot light is on. So I, I lit it and it's stick continuously on so they're good to go so what happened is also when you install the new gas valve you have to purge the air they have the air inside so since it's a new valve you have to like hold the button put it turn it on pilot here yeah. you turn it one second what you have to do is it has on it has pilot and off so what you do is since it's off okay you turn um <clears throat> my memory is full I had to delete some video and re record some stuff back at home all right so I was saying um about um the new valve once you install a new valve there's ear so you got to purchase ear right now I have it on on because the pilot light is already on it's lit it's lighting there so, but when it come, when you get it, it uses off. You put it off, and then you turn this dial to pilot, and then you hold the red button down for one minute. Hold it down for one minute so that purges the air, so gas could flow through the through the gas valve and um, to the pilot light. So, once you hold it down one minute, then go ahead and get a lighter. A regular lighter you know the long nose lighter and um, you light it and then once it stay, stays on once the light stays on then you're you okay there and then you let go and turn this once you let go fast let go of this fast and turn this knob on to on position and then like wait after like a couple um, couple seconds and then take a look see if the Alright guys, so um, I put my thermostat on and boom, we got the um, flame there. You a big flame on the bottom there. We got enough flame there now because oh, the flame wasn't really huge. So now we have a much powerful flame on the bottom. More steam, more heat. So let me just turn my flashlight on, all right? So, there you go. Everything good there. Less than 10 minutes, I already got heat. So, the heat already went up in the pipes there, less than 10 minutes, so that shows. Before it wasn't like that, before it was just like, I have to wait like probably 45 minutes before heat comes up and there was no pressure or nothing, so. Finally, now everything is it works fine. All right, righty. So that's that.